So the subject, the current subject, is running around, whatever, is this whole uh, brouhaha with uh, the uh, uh, late night show host, once a week show host, uh, Bill Maher, who's a comedian that runs around the uh, United States of America, I guess someplace in the world, I'm not really sure, but he, he runs around all, all the place, but his audience is mainly, mainly a white audience. And bring up that mainly a white audience, I'm talking about his live shows, who knows who watched the TV show, uh, the HBO show. And remember, he owns his own production company. So uh, let, me, let me cut to the chase real quick, uh, part of the chase. So everybody's calling for his uh, resignation, whatever it is. It's not going to work. Remember, he owns his own stuff, you know what I mean? He only leases his stuff away. He has a contract with HBO. Uh, so HBO can kick him off, but he still owns his own, that, that show. Okay, let's leave it alone. In fact, uh, was it, uh, uh, was Brad Gray? The guy that, that produced, uh, worked for this guy. He, the guy that produced, um, uh, Sopranos is also his producer. He recently passed, uh, Peace and Blessings on His Soul. But the thing I want to talk about Bill Maher is that if you ever watch this stuff, uh, a lot of these late night comedians, a lot of these comedians, these American comedians, and white American comedians, everybody from, uh, let's go back, don't go that far back, let's from John Stewart, all these people, uh, they appropriate um, black culture, black language. I mean, it, it, the evolution of the American English is. Is, is, is black English, you know, uh, you call it Ebonics if you want, uh, but you, the first time I noticed this, I said, oh, we really have arrived, is when, um, I think it was uh, Papa Bush, was, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, W.H. Bush, you know, the, the President of the United States, was coming off a plane, they had the, the tear gas or some people, something like that, and tear gas wafted over to his area, and they had these big headlines in New York Daily News, dissed. Now, this was a black saying, all of the, you know, you understand? Okay. So I'm saying, when these com comedians, they get together, when they're, they're, they're watching each other's shows, uh, whatever's hit, they want to do. So these affectations, like, you go girl, all that kind of things that you'll see, you know, Bill Mars does it, uh, uh, um, I think uh, Stephen Colbert did it. Anyway, people do that stuff, they, they take it from, from the black culture, it's called appropriation, right? What's interesting, when, 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 so when these folks use, uh, like what he's accused by, he did that, uh, is I'm not a house nigger or something like that. Uh, nigger, it, 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 they're, they're, they're protesting the wrong thing. They're protesting, he used that word. Not that he used the word, he used the word, oh, he probably used the word in his, in his you know, intimate company or whatever have you, just to, you know, just to go on stage. They don't use that word on stage. Well, I don't think he should use the word. I don't think any white person should use anything that really is, uh, that we know is, is, is owned by black people. Say, well, black people say, well, that's right, black people say it. The, the, the descendants of, of chattel slaves say that word, <laughs> okay? That's not for you to say it. Make up your own word. I know the word is so hip to you, you've got to use it. But this appropriation has been going on for a long time. I mean, uh, say for instance, uh, years ago, I guess it was the night, early night, whenever it was, uh, Don Imus, uh, you know, he got in trouble for saying uh, something uh, for, for, oh, Rutgers uh, girls uh, basketball team, women's basketball team, Rutgers is my alma mater, by the way, you know, Livingston College, um, called him uh, the, the, the nappy head of hose or something like that. Oh, he got in a whole bunch of trouble for that. But the thing is, like, our diamond diamonds are getting somewhere between community and whatever, but what they have to keep on looking for new material. And so if they can appropriate it from black culture, which is the richest culture, right, then they'll do it. They, if they call it a Jewish name or, or, or a Polish name or an Irish name, they wouldn't have the same gravitas <laughs> as the same. So they do that. But this is a historical thing. Let's go back. Let's not go too far back. Let's go back to just, uh, say, the menstrual era. Okay, not the menstrual era. Let's go back to vaudeville. I'm talking about vaudeville. I won't get into menstrual, some, some other subject. Um, but I, I read this book uh, about laughter or something like that, is, uh, from something to, to Richard Pryor's. I read this in the 90s. Anyway, they were saying, but the guy, the author was saying, the black guy, was saying is that the, uh, that whole uh, Abbott and Costello routine, who's on first, that whole baseball uh, thing, that really was taken from vaudeville, but it was taken from some black vaudevillians. And now Abner Costello made it popular because they had the platform to make it popular in the, in the thing. And that was all right when, you know, uh, uh, if, 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 if uh, you have affectation like Elvis or the Beatles, whatever, take some black culture and they make it their own. That's something else. But when you lift it wholesale and you know you stole, that's something else. But back in vaudeville time, they would all steal from each other. But remember, black people then, they were like, um, they, they were trying to be white. I say trying to be white, I should say. They wanted to be accepted, so they had to do the white vernacular. But after some time, mainly in the 60s, when you break away that from that integration, trying to be white, say, hey, this, this white stuff ain't working. And they go deep into their culture, black stuff. And then that makes them 
you know, black people money, that's their, that's their cachet. When you have some white folks start taking your stuff that's making you uh, uh, money, then you, you're going you're gonna to protest against that. I mean, I, you know, and this appropriation has been going on for a while. What's the whole thing with, with Louis Armstrong and, 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 the, um, and the handkerchief over the trumpet? So those guys that would come up and watch and, and, and couldn't see his notes, what he was, what he was doing on his trumpet. So these kind of things always happen. The problem is that they're protesting the wrong thing. I mean, you can protest about the word, word if you want to, but what they should be protesting about is why do white people are so uncreative that they got to keep on not only beating down uh, black folks, but taking from them and not paying them for it. You understand? Not giving them the, the, the price for it. Don't do it unless you're going to pay for it. That's your source material. If your source material is beating on, 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 on black people and then taking their stuff after you beat on them, not only you beat them down, but you've taken, you know, you've, you've taken them to keep, they can get them out of the situation. And then you keep on getting wealth off of that. And meanwhile, they keep on being put down. So my whole whole thing about this whole Mar thing, I don't care about what well, I do care, I guess, you know what I mean? But don't use that word. I do the same thing in Africa. You all can't, unless you went through, in fact, you, if you are, uh, uh, unless you came through the middle passage, the transatlantic slave trade to the United States of North America, you cannot use that word. It is not your word to use, <laughs> okay? Find your own word from your own uh, uh, shared experience or your own uh, degraded experience. But because that's, I, right now, I want total reparations. If I can take a little word here, a little there, I'll take a little reparations as it goes. But that's what it's all about. It's about you're taking, you're taking a source material and, and you're running with it. And then you're saying that you can, you're, 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 you, can, you can use it any way you want. You can. You just can. This is... Just a little opinion from me. I just had to chime in on this whole thing because this appropriation thing is really a bugger, bugger, bugger all thing. I don't know how the English say it. Anyway, that's this is a little message from me. T from the past has taken a train to Tibet. Let me know what I only suspect.